Hi, Kasia and Nadia, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you both brought such grace and passion to the screen. Um, it's just a brilliant portrayals of Livia. So did you two have talks beforehand in terms of how you'd be portraying her character, her mannerisms, her physicality, or did you watch each other work? Um, I We met, I think, in the first week of prep. We sat down with Claire and I said earlier that Cassia arrived, she walked in in this really cool oversized blazer and sunglasses. I was so intimidated. I've never seen somebody look like such a supermodel in my life. <laughs> and anyway, we sat down and within two seconds, I was not intimidated anymore because she just made me feel so at home. And we were working so closely with Claire McCarthy, the director, who is really just kind of the, the backbone of, of of this and um and and we discovered that we don't really need to worry too much about mannerisms and how we hold ourselves and because we are so aligned in what we both think of Livia and what she wants and her goals in life that actually the character once we're kind of set on her objectives just kind of fell into place and and Cassia was really supportive to me she came to watch me on set um I think on the First day I was doing the wedding scene and I was really scared because there was like a hundred extras. Um, it was like the first full day of filming and she was stood behind the monitor and um, she told me that her dad said that I looked just like her when I was younger. So I had a bit of confidence there as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we spoke throughout, but she really kind of, Cassia, you know, I, I really wanted to build the character for her as, as, as well as I could. But Kasia just kind of let me run free with it, which is a very Livia thing to do. But um, yeah, and that and that that was like a real, a real kindness and support that she showed me for that. Well, I I think what we thank you, Nadia. Thank you, sweetheart. That was very nice, uh, nice of you. Uh, it was very actually it was very, very easy for me to jump on on the third episode. Uh, just. I just, I just, it was just character was just there. We were, um, I think in order to understand Livia, well, we had to, of course, understand her, right? To understand her journey. And uh, we, we concentrate more about um, the Roman period and the, and the woman in that period. What could bring, uh, what were the thoughts of a young woman that knows that since she's six years old that she, one day when she's 15 she will have to marry and this is something that her father would make of the right choice a political choice and it won't be a person that she she will choose um, for love uh, love is has not much to do with marriage actually so that was very clear something for us that is difficult to understand right as a as a young woman as an older woman so um and so so we talk about um the past uh, the the yeah the past the woman and 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 that period and that was very interesting process i must say and then um i had opportunity to um to to just to just be Livia I I don't know how to say um I think we we had to take it personally right in order to understand uh her journey it it had to become personal to us so I learned so much about Livia. She was a phenomenal woman. I learned so much about the time period. I didn't know that children were automatically given to the husband in a divorce just immediately. Um, I didn't know that about marriage, as you were saying. So what did the two of you learn that you didn't know before? It was, uh, it was, it, it, I think it's, this is one of the um, um, motives why I, I love to to be a part of this project. I think it's also important for us today to understand a lot of facts uh, about women at that period. Um, thinking that um, we know ancient Rome, which is the basis of our civilization from the men's point of view, because the historians were only men. So 
um, this is the beginning of the problem, right? Uh, we don't know much about women. That's why there's not a lot of information about Livia. Um, uh, our goal in this in this show is to show Roman, not only Roman period, but a journey of a, of a woman through all her life from the most important uh, things that happened in, in history that we might know very well, but we do not know Livia. Mm. But especially, we don't know much about women at that period. And uh, I learned a lot, exactly. Uh, same, um, women didn't, couldn't have any properties, any at all. There were properties of the family's father that could decide who to marry. And then after that, a property of her husband. And she could have been divorced when she, when she, she's just like this. She could have been sent away and she had to live her kids. One of the other aspects that was, even though that's very symbolic also, even though she was giving a birth to her child, it was a man that would decide light or death for this child. And another thing that is very important, important, I think, yes, for me, it was important to understand also these characters. Uh, it was that those kids were buried, the dead kids, dead born in, kids were buried in the house. So there was no such a thing as a cemetery or a place to bury people, right? Um, this also brings a lot of questions about a relationship with death, right? So there's a lot of facts I learned about, uh, about not only ancient Rome, but about women, about generally, about our journey. And uh, I'm very happy to be here to show it to, to other people. I would love my daughter to see this, this character, this story. Yeah, I mean, Kasia just put that so great. But I think, like you, I didn't know about the, the fact that when you divorce, the husband automatically gets the kids and kind of if you then remarry you without a debate or a question or anything are forced to look after some the other person's child you know there's that scene where Scribonia and I, I I take I take her baby and she understands that that needs to happen and I mean for me on a slightly trivial one I didn't realize that waxing was Roman and when I read the script in the first episode, I was like, why is she being waxed the day before her wedding? I really did assume that that was quite a millennial thing, but it's not. It's a it's a very ancient Roman tradition, which I didn't know about. Right. And you were mentioning the wedding scene. Did the two of you have a favorite scene to shoot? Oh, gosh. Um, where to start? What was my favorite? I did really enjoy the wedding scene. That I think it was just having... It was one of the only times that all the cast were there. Um, we were all in one room because, you know, there was the Gaius side and, and my side with my father and Cicero and everyone. And, and it was just a really joyous day and so many extras and the set was so beautiful and it was such a grand occasion and the pig came in. No pigs were actually harmed, by the way, just to let you know. Um, but yeah, I, I would say the wedding scene was a real highlight for me. And it was one of the first days of filming. So it was such a fond memory. I, uh, for me, there was a lot, of, a lot of scenes I really enjoy a lot. I, um, thinking of it, I think it's one of the last scenes. I can't really spoil it a lot. But uh, mm. um, and again, it's in the same. Yeah, it uh, looks like a wedding, but it's definitely not. Uh, there's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's quite dramatic, but quite funny, too. And, uh, and I remember all cast we were there, and we had so much fun with it. <sighs> Amazing. And so finally, what have the two of you been watching lately? Hmm. You know, I've been really into documentaries recently. Hmm. I've been really into um, Basketball Last Chance You. It's yeah. highly recommend. <laughs> I'm gripped. I know about all the players and also Formula One Drive to Survive. I'm just obsessed. I must say I came through the lockdown period doing nothing else than watching a series. 
And so I'm um, proudly back to books. It took me a year, actually. It was very strange, but I'm not the only one I heard. Uh, we saw, we got so much used to, um, I don't know, maybe we were losing our attention, right? Our, um, yeah, our talents to concentrate. So I'm forcing myself again, just to read books, which I love. I loved, I, I, uh, before the lockdown, I really, I read a lot, but now it's, it's difficult. I must say the last thing I watched was with my son. So I'm watching things only with my son, which is Mandalorian, the Mandalorian. So <laughs> that, that was it. And I'm trying to stick to, to the books now. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for your art. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. And you. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy to meet you. Bye. You too.